Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Golgothan, and welcome back to another episode of KSP Career. Um, I actually just did a 50-minute episode of this, where apparently I forgot to hit record on Fraps, so I've, I got it all, the whole audio recorded, of me sending Bill up, um, and rescuing Jeb from his debacle he was stuck in. Tried to knock him out without having to decouple this, but in the end, I did have to decouple that. Um, and then I took the, the rescue ship back to Kerbin, got like 37 and a half science from taking a vessel back from Minmus. But as you can see, what I had to do is I had to decouple this off there. So now we're going to do some more science and hope, hope, hope that, uh, um, that we can actually still do some legitimate flying around in this thing, even though I don't, I have this weird three engine setup now. So, we have what science to review stored data. So we are in the Midlands. We got surface sample, EVA report, materials, and that. Okay. Keep all that data. Keep, keep, keep. Okay. So now what we need to do... Well, let's see. Oh, that one's not used. This was the only one that was used. Okay. Oh, and this one. What was this one used with? Um, let's not worry about that right now. Let's... Take a look at the map. Let's head to the, one of these flats. I'm gonna point ourselves towards the 90, which is this way. All right, it still flies okay. And I wanna point myself more north. We're just going to make our way over. Kind of flying like a little airplane now. An odd shaped airplane. But we're going to go to this little flats area here. How's our fuel on this thing? Not amazing. There. Get ourselves pointed retrograde and ready to descent. Time warp as we make our way over to this little flats area right here. So I want to point myself kind of straight up ish. I want to make sure I make it. Delta V remaining. 580. So this may have to be the last stop. Oh no! That is not what I wanted to do. Well, let's see if I can land this. Don't like the idea of landing it on the engine. But it's min miss, so... It won't be too bad. What's the crash tolerance? Doesn't say. That sucks. There's some science in there. Vessel. Oh, well, we've got more Delta V now because we got rid of all that weight. Oh wait, no, the science is here. That's just extra weight and landing legs. The landing legs are important, I 
can't believe I didn't put landing legs on this part for that exact purpose. Time warp. Try to land it as gently as possible. If I can, under one meter per second. Right on the engine. I've never done that successfully before. Okay, so this one. Materials Bay. Keep that data. Mystery goo. Where are we? Min Mist Flats. You observe the goo. Keep that data. Okay, we will do a crew report. And keep the data. EVA Jeb. Let go. Plop. All right, and then he can take a surface sample. Keep it. EVA report. Keep it. Then he's gonna run around and take this stuff. Do that and put him right on top of it. Collect data. Collect data. Okay. Let's not get stuck again. Okay. I think we will have enough Delta V to go want to make one more stop because I can now grab board stored data. Okay, and then I can pachink, drop that off. I know, littering. Bring these in, because we really don't need those. Alright. And see, now we have more Delta V because of that. So, don't remember all the biomes on Minmus, so let's take a look. I want to get one more, because then we'll have pretty much full science. Uh, Kerbal Space Program, Wiki. What I should also take the data from that side over there, too. Land on top. There we go. Collect data. Collect data. And board. Store data and decouple. Whoa. That was a lot of wobble. But see, now that gives us more delta V. And I decoupled the wrong one. Wow. It's a couple. Can't believe I did that. I decoupled the wrong one. So that was a whole science thing right there. Got a lot of Delta V left. See if we can do one more. One more science. So we do the regular flats. So if I hop over here, the greater flats? Or 
Um, you know what? Oh, I see where I am. I'm that little guy over there. And then that's still... Alright, so... Did Midlands. Lowlands are right next to me. Over here, Lowlands. You know what, I'm just going to go back to Carbon and collect my science. And not risk it. If I had landing legs on here, I'd be all over it, but... It worries me not having them, so... Just up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now, how am I in relation to Kerbin right now? Not in a good spot to do my to burn out. So we'll wait till we get out here. I don't need to make a node for it. Come on, get me above 3,000 already. There we go. 6,000, I can go a little bit faster. Boop. And that should be enough. All right. Good enough. All right. So then it will be where's carbon right there. So like right on the periapsis. Should cost me like no delta V. What the heck? Does Min miss orbit the other direction? Can't see. I can't orbit fast enough. I thought on the moon it's just like here and that way and it takes like no delta V to land. Oh, there we go. There. And that way. There we go. Take it into a... There. Just like that. Smidge more for a better arrow breaking. All right. Where is my node? There it is. Ready on it. Add alarm for maneuver node. Time warp. Farewell to Minmus. Uh, 200 delta V and we've got 900. If I had landing legs on here, I totally would be doing more science. Did I already get science for in space? I did not. Crew report? No. EVA report. Keep data. Board again. Alright. It's even more science. I wish it could tell us how... Oh, no! Oh, wait. No, that's just the alarm. My bad. A little bit further. Now we can burn. I had a little panic attack there. Let's 
I get that 240. 45, good enough. Bam. Where is Kerbin? Where is Kerbin? There it is. There it is. Oh my, I might actually land on the light side of Kerbin. How different that would be. Prograde and a couple. Now I want to check the debris trajectory. How does the debris have a different, that much different of a trajectory? Oh, okay, 51. I'm not sure how well this is. This arrow breaking is going to work at 51. Well, let's we'll see. There we go. Physical time warp. Now we just watch the apoapsis come in. We come in through the app, in through here. What's that? Is that KSP we just went over? Sure is. Or K KSC, Kerbal Space Center. Right. So watch this Apple app just coming down. Uh, surface. Time to periapsis. Oh, because we passed that periapsis already. Oh, so we're going to be escaping. Okay, and then we'll go all the way around again. Around again. Um, one thing that I also saw um, when I was, after I collected the science from my rescue mission with Bill, is that um, we are just about to unlock the mainsail engine. They must have bumped it up on the um, tech tree with the impl implementation of the new bigger uh, tanks. So we can get the orange tank and the mainsail engine after this launch. After we recover this science, we should have plenty for that. 51 is not very good arrow breaking distance. And I, of course, got rid of my fuel tanks, so. We'll ride this out till we get out of the atmosphere and ride it around again. Jeb's like, I'm just sick of this mission. Can I please, please just come home now? And Jeb, I would love for you to come home now. But of course, we need to ride this out all the way around again. We At 10,000 times speed. It's a very long mission for Jeb. 38 days almost, 38 days. Perhaps on this orbit you'll have a little more luck, Jeb. The periapsis is going down a little bit, so that's good. Eventually we'll end up getting it where we need it to be. <clears throat> but in the meantime, we're just going to keep making laps. And Jeb's going to be sitting there like... Ah! go home okay and back to normal time warp so we loop ourselves all the way around we here apoapsis and back to Kerbin we're almost under 12 million which means we're almost within the moon Hey, we're within the moon now. It's coming in better now. So we're getting a little bit lower. It's still going to take a few more laps. But hey, how much Delta V did we save? A ton. There we go. All the way around. 
Whoop. Whoa. I hope that that doesn't end up happening. I'm hoping that our arrow breaking will take us out of that path because I don't want to do that. Actually, if it comes in just right, perhaps it'll be even better. Nope, okay, we're gonna miss it, thank goodness. Can you imagine if I got that uh, gravity assist from the moon and then it put us right onto the curb and surface? All right, back into the atmosphere, back out of the atmosphere. This is just nuts. I really shouldn't have gotten rid of our fuel tank. It's probably around us somewhere. I don't see it. We actually came pretty close to the moon right there. Once the I would like our periapsis to get under fifty at some point. Alright. Six million. Looks like about all the further it's going to come in. It's coming in a couple million at a time. Physical time warp and bring me in more. The lower we dip, the more it will come in. The more it will help us. Forty-six days. Jeb has spent more than ten days making these arrow-breaking trips around Kerbin. He might spend ten more. Okay. Oh, five and a half. We only came in one mil on that orbit. It's going to be slower going now because um, the orbit comes in slower the closer it gets. Oh, goodness. Just totally skipped over this part. And there we go. Under a million would also be nice over here. I should have checked it before I started making this landing and made sure that my periapsis stayed below 45. It's a good arrow breaking spot, but this 51 is the atmosphere is just not thick enough. Less than a million shaved off on that road orbit. Less than a million. Ugh. At least now we can pretty much stick to the 1,000 times speed. Okay, physical time warp. G-force is on Jeb. Atmospheric drag is not great. We're at, we get to about 20% Efficiency almost of ha of the atmosphere. Well, we're almost to below 50 kilometers from this uh, uh, at our periapsis. Just to 51 now, 51 kilometers. My sister's home, that is why Lily's barking. At least she decided to run away before she started barking. Instead of barking right into the microphone like she's done before. I had to edit that out if I remembered. 
think I did. So we're getting there. Jeb is exhausted. We're getting lower. Can I see anything from the cockpit? I can see the surface. Jeb looks too excited for this. Well, it's getting lower, which means our atmosphere efficiency is getting higher. Which means our atmospheric drag is also getting higher. And more time warping. There and back. Damn. Physical time warp. Can't believe that I didn't press record on that rescue mission. It was so perfect. The mission went so beautifully. No issues. Take a look. Alright. Atmospheric efficiency does not, still doesn't get to 20. Hoping to get below 50 kilometers on this time around, but I doubt it. I don't know, we're just going down at an okay rate. Almost hit it for the terrain altitude. Two and a half million. Gosh! Jebediah, I just want your science. This video, which could have possibly been like a 20 minute video, is going to end up being like a 40 minute video just because of this. Just because I let go of my engines too soon without checking. It was probably getting rid of the engines that actually did it. It probably pushed me forward. I didn't even think of that. Jerks engines perhaps I will get under 50 kilometers periapsis this time around yeah let's say it's only gonna go down about maybe 200 on that end Ugh. I wish I had Google Glass. I know it's a weird thing, but if I had Google Glass, I can do. I would do more real life videos. Like Golgotham plays disc golf. Golgotham plays hockey. Golgotham goes hunting. <laughs> Any of those things. I mean, I could buy a camera and take it around with me, but I don't want to do that. All right. Come on. Well, we got the terrain under 50 kilometers. So that's a positive, and I bet we got our efficiency up to 20. I wasn't looking at it, but I bet it was. Well, can we get that under 2 million? And it's not going to get under 2 million on this time around, but it will on the next. That is for sure. One 
1,000 times. I'm just going to let it ride at the 1,000 times. Fifty times and one times. Four times. Four times, four times. Long pants, long pants. Alright. So we're definitely under two million now at our apoapsis, so that's good. We'll definitely be at over twenty percent efficiency. Bam. Almost under 50, kilo 50 kilometers. Almost there. Just want to get that to swing down. On the next time through, it'll definitely hit under 50 kilometers. Music means time warping. We. All right, this won't be our last time into the atmosphere, but it'll be one of the last few. After 53 days, we might make it to 55 days before Jeb actually will land. Hoping not, though. Periapsis is going to dip under 50 real soon. Atmosphere efficiency, 20.2 at the base. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't make it go one more without getting below four, below 50. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take one more before it gets below 50, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Just barely. Just barely broke it. And around. Oh, and now it's back up to over 50. Oh, well, it's going to go down again here. Ain't no if ands or buts about it on this time through. Let's see if I can get below one and a half mil kilometers on the apoapsis. Boom, periapsis below 50. Good. It's about time. Definitely can get below 1.5 mil on the apoapsis. Atmospheric efficiency is, gets up there to almost 21% now. This is a wicked, horrible return. But going less, getting less than two, or getting a little over 200, or, uh, yeah, 200 kilometers off of our um, apoapsis each time right now, and about the same off of the periapsis, so that's good. Alright, periapsis is going down. I want to watch the atmospheric efficiency. Once we hit our periapsis, I want to see how high we get it up to. 30 seconds. 20. 20.45 is, is as high as the atmospheric efficiency gets up to. Right. Gosh, 45 would have been so much better for arrow breaking. 52 or whatever I started with was horrible. Regular time warp. We. This is the longest arrow break of all time. Jeb, you have got to be so bored in there after having done this for over a dozen days. Two weeks almost, Jeb's just been flying around Kerbin trying to land. Alright, maybe we'll get it under one million on this time through. Probably not. If not this time, definitely the next time through.
Yeah, the next time. Next time it might get below 900 kilometers. I doubt it though. Music. We. All right. Get that below one million for sure. We might end up below forty nine kilometers here. The efficiency is doing its doing its work now. See if it gets up to twenty one yet. Twenty point seven eight, almost to twenty one percent efficiency. That is not below a million yet. Oh, there it goes. Tink. There we go. Below a million. Below nine hundred was a little exaggerative, but we should be good, right? Well, we might make it below 49 on this next one, 49 kilometers for the periapsis. There we go, time warp. 1,000 times. We okay. is definitely going to hit below 49 and this is definitely going to hit below 900 and hey I should hit 21% atmospheric efficiency perhaps 21 oh 20.99 20.99 man so close man that's crazy Okay. Well, we're below 900. I make it 850. Uh, 850. Below it, just below it. There and there. Starting to have a normal looking orbit. Though we're not trying to have an orbit, we're trying to land. No, it's going to be below 49 now. That means the atmosphere efficiency should be 21.25 ish, something like that. Start really bringing that stuff down. Let's see. 20, 21.25. Perfect. Exactly as I thought. Wow. You can wait, Lily. You can wait. We're almost landed. We almost landed, big girl. We're almost landed. I know. I know. I know, big girl. I know. You're a good girl. You're a good girl, Lily, aren't you? Oh. Who's a good girl? Oh, kissy girl. Lily kisses. Can you say hello, Lily? Say hi, Lily. Death kisses. That's not hi, Lily. All right. Out of the atmosphere. All the way around. There you go. Time warp. This time... We're going to do some serious damage to our orbit because we're starting to get pretty low on our periapsis. This might get down to 45 on this time through because the atmosphere is starting to actually get legitimately thicker. This might be hit uh, 650. Yeah, this won't hit 45, but this might hit 650. So definitely hit over under 650. Well, maybe 650, 625 even. 650. Would never say under 600, but wouldn't that be nuts? 625 for sure. We're still in the atmosphere. 615. 
six fifteen, six maybe six ten. Nah, six ten is a little out of the question. Look at that. Uh, should maybe one more orbit after this. I'm I'm hoping. Hoping one more orbit after this. Cause this one should bring us down to below 500. We're getting pretty low now on our periapsis too. We might we're gonna hit 47 for sure. Unless the atmospheric efficiency hit like 22, 22 and a half. One and twenty one point nine nine. Why can't it just do twenty two? Why can't it just hit twenty two? And below five hundred might be a little close. It's gonna be just about five hundred though. Broke it. Broke 500. Nice. Alright, so the hopes is that this is the last time we have to orbit. <coughs> this may, may bring us in for a landing. If it doesn't, it'll take one more after that. Cause this might bring us down to like a 250 apoapsis. I'm starting to put some serious brakes on, though. If I had just started at 45 kilometer periapsis, this would have never happened. Twenty-two and a half, twenty-two point six percent atmospheric efficiency at peak. This is actually coming in way slower than I thought. Thought I'd be at like 250. It only came in 100 kilometers. Uh, yeah, 100 kilometers. Very disappointed. You're gonna make me a liar, KSP. Look how long I stay in the atmosphere now, though. Okay, and there's one. 20. Two. 40. There we go. Boom. Atmosphere. Alright, this is coming in okay. Feel like I'm not gonna still not gonna have entry effects. That that's some serious arrow breaking if you can get entry effects. Forty three percent efficiency, forty three and a half percent efficiency. 23 and a half. I'm sorry if I said 33. I believe I did. It's a mistake. I'm below 300 kilometers. Well, on the next time through our periapsis, we'll definitely hit 45. Which should give us about 25% atmospheric efficiency, I believe, at 45. Oh, 
which 25% atmospheric efficiency should be enough to stop us, for goodness sake. Fifty and atmosphere. Boy, do I wish I could physical time work faster than four times. I'll bring that periapsis down to forty five, yo. I'm watching that atmospheric efficiency, see if it'll hit twenty five. Oh yeah, definitely going to hit 25. Boom, 25. That Apple app's sure coming in quick. Whew. If I was trying to park in orbit, this would have been perfect. Looks like it might put us at like a 100 kilometer orbit. Which is my normal rendezvous orbit. Okay. Still in the atmosphere. But I will be on the next orbit that I definitely land. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless somehow I'm able to keep in the atmosphere on this time around. I mean, I'm still in the atmosphere. Apple F is still coming down. But I don't think it's going to come down that much. I think I'm going to have to make one more loop. But I'm definitely landing on the next one. There's no way I'm, sur I'm uh, orbiting a full another rotation after this. But this was a... Like, if this is where I ended up on my first orbit around through here, that'd have been like a perfect parking orbit yeah, for any sort of vehicle I would park in orbit, I guess. I will not reach 120 kilom or yeah, 120 kilometers. All right. Now we get ready to land. Landing legs down. Oh, I gotta wait until we get into the atmosphere. All right, landing legs down. I'll do some time warping. Half lapses should flip over to the side, and pretty soon, we're in still pretty, in a pretty weird spot. Still got plenty of time before the periapsis, four and a half minutes. That apoapsis has got nothing left on it. Look at that periapsis moving. The apoapsis is following me. I will be probably either landing on these mountains here or in the water over here. Yep, there we go. Apoapsis is in the atmosphere. Periapsis is about to sink into the ocean. There we go. We are now landing, finally. Win ourselves retro and let the air do all the work. There we go. I think I only have the one parachute, yeah. 
Should be enough though. With the landing legs especially. Ooh, especially if we land in the water. Which it looks like we might. Yep, landing in the water. Good. It'll be softer. Set to go off at 5,000. So let's let that ride out until about 6,000. There we go. Parachute. Ride that guy all the way down. Woo! Jebediah returning home safely. With a ton of science. 11 stored experiments. Still coming down at a pretty high speed, but I'm hoping that once we get lower, it won't be the, the case. Yeah. And now that I know for sure that I can just store date all my data in the pod, I don't need to bring this much stuff back, just the pod. And I can make those vehicles like I did with this Minmus lander, where I can have science parts that I can decouple off to save uh, size. I wonder if you can reset the materials bay and stuff with a Kerbal. Now you can pull the data, but I wonder if you can reset the data. Come on. Please land faster. I really want to know how much science I'm going to get. It's got to be like 300. At, no, it's got to be more than that. It's going to be like 500 science at least. Because each one of the surface samples, I think, was 150 science. Nine meters per second. Okay, coming in for touchdown. Eight and a half meters per second. Don't really need the landing gear if I'm just going to splash in the water. Maybe I should have kept the landing gear to absorb the initial impact. But we got most of our science. Recover vessel. We just didn't get that last little bit of science. What do we got? 933.3 science gathered on this mission. That is so much science. Time to go on a science buying spree. So with the science I got from the rescue mission, I bought this, which gives me the skipper engine, the poodle engine, and some big tanks. I'm going to now buy this. It's going to be the orange tank and the mainsail. Boom. What's this? Even bigger rockets for 550 for the big old rockets. Well, let's do some other stuff first. Let's get these, the land, the ladders and the barometer for more science. Let's get some solar panels. Um, so I can't get this anymore, so I might as well just keep getting stuff. So let's get this for decouplers. What's this? Oh, we absolutely need that. Boom. Okay. Solar panels and one more of these. That one or that one. Let's do this one. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please click like down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos like it. I am Golgothan. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.